and you're very welcome to this video on insurance. This is the first video on the chapter on insurance on learning outcome 1.6 in the junior cycle uh, business study specification. So in this video, we're going to find out what insurance is and we're going to talk about how insurance works. So firstly, what I want you to do is think about what does insurance mean? I'm sure you've all heard about insurance and different types of insurance, be it car insurance or home insurance before. So pause the video now and jot down what you think insurance means. And when you're ready, press play and we'll continue on with the video. So, our definition of an insurance then is that it's a written agreement between an individual and an insurance company. It states the insurance company, what we call the insurer, is going to pay money to the individual, who we refer to as the insured, if the individual suffers a loss. It's designed so that the injured person will be back in the same position financially as they were before the incident after they incur the loss. So basically what that means is that I, let's say, for example, I take out a car insurance policy and let's say, for example, I have an accident in the car. Therefore, I've suffered a financial loss. In other words, it's going to cost me money to fix the car because I've had the accident. Well, what the insurance company does, because I'm basically protecting myself against a risk of something of an accident happening with the car the insurance company is then going to cover the losses or the amount of money that i've had to pay in fixing up that car so therefore i paid the insurance company a fee to protect me against this risk and therefore now the insurance company are going to pay me because that risk has happened so that i'm not gaining anything but it means that i'm back in the same position so i have my car fixed up again as if i was before the accident happened so the question is, how does insurance work? So we're going to go see, go through step by step now. How does insurance work one step at a time? So firstly, to be insured, you have to pay the fee to an insurance company. This insurance company then insures lots and lots of people so that they receive fees from lots of different people. Now, as the risk of your insurance against is not expected to happen to many people, the insurance company knows that they will not have to give a payout to everyone paying a fee. So they say, take, say, for example, car insurance, okay? Everyone, it's a legal requirement in Ireland that if you have a car, you have to have car insurance. However, we don't expect everyone to have a car crash, okay, or have an accident in the car. So therefore, they know they're not going to have to make a payout to everybody that gets uh, has a car uh, that has a car. Only a small percentage of those paying for the insurance is going to suffer a loss. So in the case of our car insurance, only a small percentage of people, those with car insurance, is going to have an accident. Or for house insurance, only a small number of people are going to, say, have their house go on fire or going to have a uh, suffer a burglary. Most people that pay for insurance don't suffer a loss. So therefore, the money that these people pay will cover the losses of the people that do suffer a loss. So say, for example, I take out a car insurance policy and a house insurance policy for the year and nothing happens to my house and nothing happens to my car. Well, then happy days, then I don't receive any money from the insurance company because I haven't suffered a loss. But the money that I've paid in my insurance fees will end up going to someone else who has suffered a loss, who has been in an accident or has had, say, for example, a fire or a burglary in the house. Anything left over from this, it becomes profit for the insurance company because at the end of the day, insurance companies are businesses and the aim of a business is to make a profit. So let's look at a specific example here of a smartphone. So let's say, for example, a thousand people pay 10 euro to insure their smartphones against breaking, damage, loss, etc. So therefore, the insurance companies receive 10,000 euros. So 10 euro by 1,000 is 10,000 euro. Let's just say for the argument, it's going to cost 500 euro to replace the phone, just for example. 16 people of that 1,000 have had problems with their phone. So they've either lost it, it's broken, it's stolen or whatever. I want you to think about now, so pause the video for a second. How much is the insurance company going to have to pay out? And how much will the insurance company make as a profit? Pause the video. When you've got it worked out, press play to find out the answer. Dun, 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 dun. So, continuing on with the example, to replace the insured smartphones, the insurance company is going to have to pay out €8,000. How did I get that? Well, I need to multiply the 16 people with the damaged phones and multiply that by the €500, Euro, the cost of each phone. However, the insurance company collected €10,000 from in insurance fees. So that means if I take the 10000 away from the 8000 this insurance company has made a profit of €2,000. Yay for the insurance company. Woohoo! Okay. So that, folks, is quite simply... Um, 
Sorry, just continuing there. Most people that paid insurance didn't suffer a loss. So the fee that they paid was used to help the people that did suffer. And that little cartoon image on the right there, I think, explains it brilliantly. So you can see yourself, there's a big pool of money there. And you see on the left there, lots of people pouring money into the pool to protect themselves against the risk of a possible loss they might occur. And on the right hand side there, you see people dipping into the pool of money to basically get money so that they don't have to suffer a financial loss. So if you look at some of the examples, there's a vet bill there. So someone obviously has pet insurance because their dog's after getting sick. So they need to get money to cover the uh, the sickness of the dog. There's a lady there who's after crashing her car. So she's getting money uh, from the insurance company to fix the damage to the car so that she's not having to actually having to pay anything more to fix the car. The insurance company looks after that. Why? Because she pays her insurance fee and the insurance company looks after it. You can see there there's a man that's broken his leg. So he therefore doesn't because he pays insurance he doesn't want to suffer a loss from that. So the insurance company is covering that and last but not least see the woman down there she's broken by looks like is it a computer screen or a tv screen so she's getting because she has it insured she's getting money to fix that up so therefore she isn't incurring any further loss so folks now you should know what insurance is and you should understand how insurance works if any questions ask down below in the comments if you enjoy the video give it a subscribe go on please subscribe you know you want to subscribe hit the button it's there on the screen now and of course Give the video a like if you enjoyed this video. Thanks very much for watching, folks. Please looking forward to seeing you again now in the next video. Bye now.